Hi guys, welcome back to another video here on the channel. Me and Stacey are a bit under the weather, but as you can see, we're fully in autumn and we have another winter storm here this weekend. Anyway guys, if you like this video, please hit that like button, uh, leave us a comment and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Let's get into the video guys. So guys, if you remember, we had all that flooding in one of my videos just about a week ago. Well, we've got another big autumn storm here today, as you can see by the trees flapping around behind me. Now, this is more what it's typically like when we have bad weather in Scotland in the autumn. Uh, we have rain and wind at the same time, like we're having today. So what's going on today is we're actually going to be bringing the dogs inside because uh, the wind's getting up. I just don't like the trees being over the dog kennels when it's this windy if a limb was to come down on top of the kennels or something like that. It's not super bad, but like I say, I've got time off anyway and me and Stacey aren't feeling well, so we're just like wanting to stay inside the house. So it's easier if we just bring the dogs in, I think. Okay. Do you want to go outside? Do you want to go out or not? Go toilet? What do you think? You go toilet? So guys, the dogs are in. Um, we're just hoping the power doesn't go out because the power does go out quite a lot here when we get big uh, winter storms because, well, branches come down on power lines and things like that. So hopefully the power stays on, but I am going to try and keep my phone charged as much as I can. So if the power does go out, I can use my phone to sort of entertain myself. Isn't that right? So guys, I guess a rainy day like this is also a good day to answer some of the sort of questions that people have. Uh, so we'll start off with why I keep my dogs in kennels most of the time. So, so Storm and Echo do stay outside in kennels most of the year. Uh, even today, they probably could have stayed out because uh, it's not really cold or anything like that. It's just wet and windy. But with me and Stacey feeling... Uh, under the weather it's a bit more pleasant for us to stay inside and look after the dogs than to stand outside in the cold and wet all day when you're already not feeling well uh, but yeah they do spend most of the time out in kennels uh, at night and things where they sleep obviously and that's because border collies they are very reactional to the environment that they live in so if you have a dog who is living outside full time then its coat, its body becomes much more acclimatised to that type of weather. So that means they can then go out and work for 8, 10 hours a day in that sort of weather and it not affect them. Whereas a dog that lives inside isn't going to, uh, its coat isn't going to form as properly as it would have if it was living outside. And that dog isn't going to be as weather resistant 
as dogs that left that have lived outside. Now that is obviously very specific. Storm, you're gonna fall. Uh, that is obviously very specific to working dogs that are in full-time work. So even if your dog was only in a couple of hours of work a day, that really wouldn't be that necessary. A dog would be fine doing that if its coat wasn't formed properly. But to be out for extended periods of time uh, in the Scottish weather, the dog really has to have formed an appropriate coat and has to have lived in those conditions to be able to work in those conditions. So it's just a lot healthier. It's a lot healthier on the joints and the respiratory systems if they're used to being in that climate. And then to add to that as well, the Border Collies were bred on the border between England and Scotland, and they were really bred for living outside in this climate. And most working lines have stayed that way. Most uh, working sheepdogs live outside. Therefore, uh, most working lines of Border Collies are more acclimatised to living outside than they are inside because really farmers haven't changed uh, the living conditions of these dogs since they were bred, which is primarily bred for living outside in Scotland. And uh, the other thing people were asking was about neutering and spaying the dogs. So I don't neuter and spay my dogs as standard. I keep them complete. You should keep any dog complete till it's two years old anyway, till it's fully developed. Echo. Uh, but yeah, I can separate my dogs. I uh, can identify when they're coming on heat. I know how to work it. Uh, just responsible pet ownership and it works fine, especially when you've got a kennel system. It's obviously harder if you're inside the house. But yeah, I don't do anything medical to my dogs unless it becomes necessary. Uh, I don't take the opinion with myself to go get things done for what may never come to harm. There is a risk to not neutering dogs and, or spaying dogs, but there's also risks with neutering and spaying, and one doesn't outweigh the other for me. Uh, so unless it becomes necessary, I don't neuter or spay any of my dogs. And that's just, it's per personal preference, guys. There's no way it's right, but uh, I, I don't see the risks being that high that it warrants doing something unless that dog has something in its genes which is going to cause that or just like us basically if it's not in the dog's history i don't see the point in reacting to something that may never happen so guys kate's favorite thing to do is spy on echo so i'm going to turn around the camera around and show you what we are seeing right now It's actually quite down here right now, but uh, we're seeing there's actually been red weather warnings put in place up uh, just south of Aberdeen, I think, and I've uh, seen that the Scottish government is evacuating 250 homes in Brecon, so I guess things are pretty wild over there right now. The winds sort of dropped where we are and the rain sort of slowed down just for a little while and now, but it's to pick back up again in a little while. So we're just going to uh, use this sort of little lull to get the dogs out and get them a run around and stuff. And then we're going back inside to shelter again. Stacy made cheese and broccoli soup since we're ill, but she says she's too ill to talk. Hey guys, so that's me and the dogs just up. 
Storm Babbitt is still going on, quite windy outside, quite still quite wet. So uh, this morning I've just woke up and I'm sitting in the dogs with a sitting in the living room with the dogs. So guys, you can see it's still going on. Uh, I have actually been feeling a bit better the last couple of days, uh, which is a bit annoying because it's the last few days of my time off and I can't really do anything when the, when the weather's like this. Uh, Stacy got ill after me, so she's still feeling a bit ill. She's still in bed this morning. And you can see the flooding that started happening all over here. The road's flooding a little bit as well. Uh, I've just watched the news and I've heard that, that those 250 houses is now 400 houses which have been ordered to evacuate by the Scottish government and that's up near Brecon somewhere. And uh, I'm going to head out to the shop. Uh, hopefully the roads aren't too flooded and I can get across to one of the shops in the villages because uh, we need to pick up some stuff. Uh, mainly just like juice and good, sort of like your daily stuff. So that's what I'm going to do now. So guys, I decided to do something a bit out of the ordinary there and uh, take the dogs a walk on Leeds on public roads. And it's just because we've been kind of cooked up in the house and I don't want to let the dogs go up to the farm and then get really dirty and then have to come back into the house. It does seem to be slowing down. We'll see what happens in a few hours, but definitely where I am, the storm seems to be a lot quieter to, uh, this afternoon than it was, than it has been anyway. Hi guys, so uh, I didn't get a huge amount of filming done last night, we just chilled out and relaxed with the dogs. As you can see the wind and the rain has basically died down and the dogs will be going back outside today. So it'll be back to the sort of normal living situation today. Anyway guys, that'll be enough for today's video, so that'll do and I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs> 